Since last few weeks, in fact months, it has been very disappointing for the tech industries due to the recent layoffs. These mass layoffs are all over the news these days. According to crowdsourced website layoffs.fyi, over 140,000 tech employees have been laid off this year. Hello everyone, this is Sharik. First, let's see which all companies have laid off till now. Facebook's parent company Meta announced that it's cutting more than 11,000 jobs, about 13% of total staff. CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced the layoffs to his employees today. It was you know, one of the hardest calls that I've, I've had to make in, in, in the 18 years of running the company. Netflix had two rounds of layoffs. In May, they eliminated 150 employees and in June, the number was 300. Twitter fired 50% of their employees under the new owner of Elon Musk. Apple had laid off its contract employees and their hiring is on freeze right now. We're being very deliberate on our hiring. That means we're continuing to hire, but not everywhere in the company are we hiring. Online retailer Amazon has confirmed a coming round of mass layoffs. Google is also planning to fire more than 10,000 of their low performing employees in early 2023. They are also facing some pressure from their existing investors where one of the investors, TCI, who holds 6 billion stake at Google's parent company Alphabet, wrote a letter to Sundar Pichai saying that the company has too many employees and cost per employees are also too high. Microsoft, Snap, Stripe, Coinbase, Shopify, Tesla, laid off around 1,000 of their employees. Meta's layoffs will bring the number of employees to about here. Amazon's to about here. Netflix brought the employee count here. Some experts say that this is not an end. But expect more layoffs for another three to six months. But the question is why all of a sudden these companies are laying off their employees? This might be because of their quarter three result where most of the companies saw a decline in their profit and revenues. But let's cover the broader reason behind these layoffs. Going back in 2019, major tech companies' revenue were growing steadily and so as their employees. Then the pandemic hit in 2020 and everyone was online. All economic activities went online. People started spending more time on social media. We saw an increasing trend for online shopping. People started watching Netflix, YouTube, videos, reels and movies on different OTT platforms. This really helped the tech and the e-commerce business companies like Facebook, Google and Amazon. Hence, the revenue of these tech companies skyrocketed. For example, Google saw a jump of 34% in its revenue for Q1 of 2022 as compared to the Q1 of 2021 and its subsidiary company YouTube saw a jump of 49% in its revenue. Amazon grew its delivery operations as the vast population started to shop online. They started to hire aggressively. The revenue stayed high till 2021 and most of the CEOs thought it would continue the same way which they have seen in last two years. They continued their hiring process and hired few expensive employees. By 2022, the consumer has changed in a big way. They started going out. It created a major setback for the big companies and their revenue started to decline. Netflix saw a drop in the subscriber count for the first time over a decade. Lost 200,000 subscribers, 2 lakh. Amazon faced a huge loss in this Alexa business. Google profit dropped 27% in quarter 3 and was facing a tough competition from TikTok and Snap. Meta faced a huge loss in quarter 3 and expected to continue in Q4 due to their Metaverse project. There are rumors that Mark Zuckerberg might step down. Some CEOs of these tech companies said they grew too fast. The bottom line here is that they grew too fast and spent too much money. One of the main reasons behind the decline in ad revenue was Apple privacy setting. The app started asking users whether they want to be tracked or not. This affected the key component of many social media companies' ad model. Overhearing during pandemic, fear of recession, Russia-Ukraine war, inflation, these are some of the key reasons behind the mass layoff. Don't worry, these companies are not going anywhere. These companies are too big to fail since millions of people are using their product. 
people who have lost their jobs from the fan companies i think they are competitive enough to find a new job other people who have lost their job from a service based companies they should not be demotivated and it's not an end of their career if you are in roles like software engineering cloud computing blockchain artificial intelligence web development or such related technologies then definitely you need not to worry this is not an end of tech industries definitely there would be a slowdown for couple of quarters but in coming months there would be a plenty of jobs the demand for software engineering will still remain all you need to do is focus on your skills master in it and keep yourself updated and this is also a right opportunity and time to create a perfect linkedin profile and make connection with right people what advice do you have to people that might have been recently laid off first take a moment to pause gather your thoughts and think about your next pivot for your career what type of opportunity is going to help enhance your skill set and make you the most marketable second you've got to get your resume in order and third you really do need to think about your online network and your in person network so these were the reasons of mass layoff i hope this video was informative Google is also planning to hire hire bol rahe hai <laughs>